Hi, I'm Dr. Rekhi Ayer, uh, Director, Medical and Surgical ICU of a corporate hospital, Sterling Hospitals, Vadodara, Gujarat. I have always wanted to be a doctor who saves lives since childhood. Uh, never thought critical care would be the goal because that time critical care as a subject or as a specialty was not there. Then after I did my MBBS, I did my MD medicine, I loved the subject. Still something was lacking. I had not achieved my goal. After my MD DNB medicine, I started my career as an intensivist in a cardiologist ICU. Yes, that I liked it. it uh, I realized that my passion is ICU. After a while, <clears throat> after my marriage, when I got shifted to Vadodara from Nagpur, I got an opportunity to become a full time intensivist in an ICU. And that made all the difference. I realized that this is what I'm supposed to do. I did treat a lot of sick patients who was coming to the tertiary care of our ICU. And the pleasure of getting back such sick patients who were in their deathbed, they come to the OPD after a few days, that uh, clicked and I realized that this is what I should be doing. This went on and uh, through this, I had my four-year-old daughter, I had uh, my son and without a major setback in the career, I could continue because of a good family support of my husband and in-laws. Then the awakening came uh, about 2013-15 when I started the critical care courses had started. I had a lot of juniors who had done IDCCM and had joined me institute. That is when I thought maybe I should also get a critical care degree. Then ISCCM body uh, introduced this IFCCM by alternate pathway for five years from 2010 to 15. Uh, after 10 years of practice and 8 years of uh, membership. So in 2013, I enrolled in IFCCM and simultaneously enrolled in EDIC. Uh, could manage to clear both EDIC in uh, theory in Dubai and uh, practical in Dublin. And uh, that really made a difference. I learned a lot while I went through these courses and exams. So. That was a big achievement which I uh, took up and um, achieved much later in my life. At the same time, my daughter was going through her 12th and uh, she also entered uh, <clears throat> and took medicine as a career. Then, uh, through this 30 years of my uh, career post MD, I have enjoyed every moment of it. Though there were a lot of uh, stressful moments, I had sleepless nights, uh, I had my migraine attacks, but still I am I enjoyed and I never repent having taken this as a career. Then when my younger son also took uh, um, to MBBS, he got admission in a government medical college. I was proud and uh, when I asked him why you want to become a doctor, he said uh, seeing the work we do and the uh, status we have in the uh, society that is what motivated him and not the money. So I thought uh, we set a good example for our kids. And one thing I would say that through all this uh, busy career, I've never missed a, a school event of my kids, uh, none of the PTNs or the annual boring annual programs. I have always been there for them. They never miss their mom through all this. So I could achieve that uh, family work balance. Then uh, around my 50s is when I realized that uh, health is also important. I had a uh, lot of orthopedic issues. Uh, then I realized that I had developed stress related diabetes which was not there in the family. Then I was motivated to start yoga by my mother and got into it about one and a half years of yoga and meditation really made a difference to my physical and mental life. I became more physically fit. I could uh, plus mentally 
something changed i got less angry my um, voice came down you know even when i was guiding guiding my uh, residents for their mistakes the voice was much lower so that was a big turning point in my life then comes the new achievement i am really thankful to iscm college to have uh, conferred recognized and given me my fellowship in critical care medicine in the recent event in uh, the convocation of the college in uh, the calcutta national conference <clears throat> i am proud and honored that uh, they have uh, bestowed this on me for my uh, exemplary work in critical care and i am proud that i am the only woman who have been conferred uh, this uh, fellow of critical care medicine this year and uh, the only ever woman from gujarat to have received this honor so <clears throat> i am uh, thankful to the society uh, for the same uh, my advice to the uh, young aspirants uh, especially female aspirants of critical care would be that uh, whatever you do be passionate about your career enjoy your work do what you like at the same time uh, give enough time to your family your kids you should have a good work life balance and uh, achieving peace and happiness depends on your good work life balance and never neglect your health take up some sport some yoga some meditation or something to achieve a good physical and mental health happy women's day